My name is Faris and this is Animated Net. In this lesson, I will illustrate the lateral rotator group of muscles for you. And the lateral rotator group is a group of six small muscles of the hip, which all externally rotate the femur in the hip joint. This what you can see here is the femur, and this over here is the hip bone. That's where all of these muscles originate from. All of the muscles from the lateral rotator group insert on the upper extremity of the femur. And all of these muscles are innervated by the sacral plexus, except one muscle. And that one muscle is the obturator externus, which is innervated by the lumbar plexus. If you watch the rest of my lessons about the bones, you probably remember that this foramen here on the hip bone is the obturator foramen. And there is also the obturator membrane here. And the obturator externus originates from the lateral side of the obturator membrane. And it inserts in the trochanteric fossa. Before I move on to explain the rest of the muscles from the lateral rotator group, I want to show you one more muscle that does the lateral rotation. But that's not the primary function of this muscle. The muscle is called the gluteus minimus muscle. There is also the gluteus medius and the gluteus maximus, which I will explain a little bit later. This muscle originates between the anterior and the inferior gluteal line below the gluteus medius muscle, which originates somewhat like this. And it runs deeper under that muscle and it inserts on the greater trochanter of the femur. The third muscle that I'll mention is the piriformis muscle. And the piriformis muscle does belong to the group of the lateral rotator muscles. Runs laterally and inserts on the superior boundary of the greater trochanter. Now this part of the bone here is the ischial spine. And on the ischial spine, there is a new muscle that originates, and that is the gemellus superior. And the gemellus superior muscle joins the obturator internus muscle, which somehow goes below the ischial spine and inserts on the medial surface of the greater decanter. Right below the obturator internus, we have the inferior gemellus. Here is the tuberosity of ischium. And this muscle originates just above the tuberosity of ischium. It also joins the obturator internus to insert on the medial surface of the greater trochanter. A little bit more laterally and inferiorly, on the lateral edge of the tuberosity of ischium, we have the quadratus femoris running laterally and inserting on the intertrochanteric crest, which is basically a crest between the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter. These lessons come as part of my software that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. If you don't want to purchase it, then at least make sure you subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you.